I think every politician says this, but I, I uh, running for office wasn't really on my game plan. Uh, I, I served on our city council in Mesa 20 years ago, and I really enjoyed that experience. I served for four years, but I felt like I had kind of been there, done that. You know, I, I had worked all the demons out of my system, and so I had no intention of running for office again. But uh, a few years ago, our, uh, our good mayor, Scott Smith, resigned to run for governor, and it created an opening, and, and um, I, I was suggested to me that I ought to consider it, and after initially uh, fighting against the, the idea, once I allowed myself to think about would I like to be mayor, I realized this is, the, this is my dream job. There's nothing I would rather do than this job. Being a mayor is a very fun job. Uh, I don't think I've ever had two days that are the same uh, in, in the last four and a half years, uh, which is what I love about it. And you're uh, you're moving and doing something uh, every waking moment. Uh, it, it's not a full-time job. It's a, it's an all-the-time job. It's nights and weekends and holidays, and and that's what I love about it. I'm not complaining. Uh, it keeps me very busy, uh, but I love it. And it's uh, it's it's not it's it's an okay job, but it's a great calling. You know, if you're passionate and you care about this, and I, I think people who do this generally are. Uh, then there's nothing more fun than working 24-7 on a cause that you're passionate about. If you look at the City of Mesa logo, it's got these three flat-topped mountains, or mesas, stacked one upon the other. And I like to uh, use that to kind of challenge people to say we're on a certain level as a community. And it's not a bad view from this mesa, but there's another mesa that we aspire to get to as a community. Uh, so uh, let's celebrate all of the great things about our community, but let's also pay attention to what can and should we be doing to get better, you know, to make this a place where our, our kids and our grandkids can uh, anticipate that they're going to be able to stay and have rewarding careers and a great quality of life. Uh, and I think if we're satisfied with where we are now, that's not going to happen. Uh, we really have to aspire to be better than we are. Uh, I was born and raised in downtown Mesa. Uh, this is the old Mesa that I grew up in, and it was a, a thriving, economic, uh, busy uh, place. Uh, and uh, it, it has been a little uh, disappointing for me to see it, at the, this, this downtown, like nearly every downtown, between shopping malls and freeways and other things happening, it kind of sucks the lifeblood out of this really cool, historic, authentic downtown that we've had. So. Uh, it's been a passion of mine since I was on our city council 20 years ago to see what we can do to revitalize downtown Mesa. And uh, I think we've done a pretty good job at that. Between the Mesa Art Center, Light Rail, a lot of the, the other projects that we're involved in right now, bringing ASU, I'm, that's what I'm excited about right now. Uh, in, in the very near future, we're breaking ground on a, on a beautiful new ASU facility uh, here at Center Street and Main Street in downtown Mesa. Um, and it's not, I'm, I'm motivated to do this not just out of a sense of nostalgia of, you know, what I loved about Mesa as a child, but more significantly, it's a great way for our community to remain relevant and for, and, and economically, it's a great way for us to, to bring revenue back into a part of our city that uh, has, hasn't had that for a while. Mesa has been very successful in attracting growth. Uh, on the outside of edges of our community and, and more recently in our downtown. We're committed to making sure that continues to be the case. Uh, we're very excited. Uh, just a couple of weeks from now, we'll be opening another extension of light rail in downtown Mesa. Uh, we, we've been uh, excited to participate along with Tempe and Phoenix in all of the economic growth that follows the light rail corridor. Uh, so that is, is going to continue to have a big impact on, on the downtown part of Mesa for, for decades to come. Uh, in the edges of Mesa where things are growing very, very quickly out in the Gateway area and the Falcon Field area and the Riverview area, uh, also things are, things are growing literally as fast as they possibly can. We're, we're selling houses uh, as fast as they're being built and relocating big successful businesses in our, that, those parts of our town on a daily basis. So things are good, but uh, my biggest fear for our community is that we will become complacent and that Mesa will maybe someday become, is at risk to being that, that city you come back to and visit grandma and grandpa. 
uh, rather than being the place that people are moving to and the place that people are staying at. Uh, so that's the challenge, is to not be complacent with the success we've had, but to use that as encouragement and reason to work even harder. Uh, I'm proud of the fact that uh, we've been able to work collaboratively with our schools to uh, do a better job of preparing uh, our young people for kindergarten. Uh, school readiness is a, is a, was a passion of mine and it was a, a program I was excited to, to, uh, to work on in partnership with our school districts. Also, on the other end of the education spectrum, uh, Mesa needs to do a better job, as does the entire state of Arizona, in higher education attainment. Uh, that's part of the statewide uh, six, Achieve 60 AZ uh, uh, goal, which I fully uh, subscribe to. So we have tried to do a better job of attracting more and different higher education opportunities uh, to downtown Mesa and to Mesa generally. Uh, that's part of why we're so excited that ASU is coming to our downtown. But we have other great options. Benedictine University, Mesa Community College, uh, A.T. Steele University, uh, I could go on. So I'm proud of the emphasis we put on education in Mesa. To me, that's one of the core values of our community for, for generations. As a new family arrived to the Valley of the Sun, if they showed up in a station wagon or a minivan, people point to Mesa. And they say that is a family-oriented community. That's a community that places a high uh, value on public K-12 education and higher education. That's our legacy. And, and, and I'm very committed to making sure that stays our legacy as a community. But in my 40s, I was really active as an endurance athlete, uh, did several Ironman races, uh, several marathons, uh, ultra bike rides, things like that. So I still really enjoy doing that. I'm not uh, at the level I was a few years ago, but uh, it, when I have the time, that's what I enjoy doing. Uh, Mesa is, uh, doesn't get its due when it comes to food. Some people are kind of snarky, snarky people will say that if you need a good meal, you know, don't go to Mesa. But Mesa's got several independent uh, uh, small restaurants that are amazing. Uh, and I'll, I've got to mention just a, more than one of them. Jalapeno Bucks is a great uh, barbecue joint. You're literally sitting, sitting in an orange orchard in between orange trees having great barbecue and, and uh, all kinds of chips and salsas and burritos. Um, Blue Adobe Grill, where I went today for lunch with a bunch of other mayors, uh, is great, great kind of New Mexico style uh, hatch chili uh, uh, restaurant in downtown Mesa. But we've got Republic em Empanada, uh, Worth Takeaway always scores high nationally uh, in, in, in rankings in terms of quality, uh, really good cuisine in, in Arizona. So uh, anybody who thinks Mesa is not a good place to go out to eat, I would love to, to take that challenge. And I can take them to, you know, for several weeks to a different place every night and they'll, they'll really enjoy themselves.